Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sachima, aka Chime, and today we're going to be doing this ninja bun with the faux bangs. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey friends, so like I said before, we're going to be doing the ninja bun with the Chinese bangs and I am going to be turning up with y'all and basically walking y'all through the whole process. So as you see here, I am detangling my hair um, just so that when I lay down uh, my edges with this uh, coconut shea butter edge control, um, again, um, while all the like products that I use will be in the description, description box. And so, um, I detangle my hair so my hair can lay down as flat as possible. And I'm using this edge control to make sure that my edges lay down and my hair lays down like super, super flat. And I'm using this hard bristle brush to go ahead and achieve the flatness that I want and you're gonna see me go through and brush my hair about two or three times and make sure that my hair is as flat as possible um, as you can see I'm using Gorilla Snot to seal everything in um, the main thing that will really like help achieve this look is getting your hair to look as flat as possible so right now I'm going in with my soft bristle bristle brush, soft bristle brush. Um, I got it wet with water just to, um, I guess the water mixing with the gel, I don't know, a psychological thing for me. I feel like it helps um, seal my hair even more. So again, here's like the second time I'm doing my ponytail and I even did the third ponytail off camera. Now I'm taking a bandana, I'm folding it in a triangle and then folding the tip up to the middle and I'm basically using this to, um, I guess, tie down my edges and make those really, really flat. Now um, one of the things that you need to do to achieve this look is put your hair in a bun and since I'm natural that's kind of difficult to get a small bun. So what I decided to do was to twist my hair into three sections and then take those three sections and then make them into one giant braid and then I took the braid and I wrapped it in a ponytail, I mean well in a bun. So next I am using one pack of braiding hair. Um, I'm showing you right now how I tie the scrunchie to get it to stick around my ponytail. But yeah, this is one pack of um, braiding hair. It's synthetic hair. Literally costs $2.99 at my beauty supply store. It is a 1B and the ends are feathered. So um, I believe this helps me wrap my buns the best way. So as you can see here, I split the braiding pack, the hair braiding, the braiding hair pack, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. I split it in two naturally where it's split naturally. And then I took one half and I split that half in half. So I took half and then split it in half, if that makes sense. So that one fourth that I had left over is going to be used for my bangs. So right now you see me measuring it. All I did was kind of scrunch it up a little bit and I got it to the thickness that I wanted my bangs to be. And now I'm using some bobby pins to hold down the bangs where I want them to be. And then now you're seeing me check the thickness and making sure that I like the way it looks. I'm gonna use a clip to um, get it out of my way, get it out of my face. Now I'm taking a very small section right now and you're gonna see me wrap it around the front of the bangs and then underneath the ponytail. Um, doing this is gonna ensure that your um, bangs stay in place because the uh, bobby pins might fall out. So. Now what I'm doing is, as you can see, my ponytail is showing through, and I do also have this hump of hair kind of just 
there, you know, really just there. So what I'm going to do is use that hair to cover up my ponytail. So now I took another small section. I'm folding over that hump of hair and now wrapping that section of hair. Here you go, a back view so you can kind of really see what I'm doing. And you want this to be as neat as possible since it's kind of like the base of your ninja bun. So I'm going to wrap that and then you'll see what I do next. Okay, so for the remainder of the hair, so for the remain, look, I can't talk today, you guys. The remainder of the hair, I'm going to take a piece of it and I'm going to twist it all the way down and then wrap that around um, the ninja bun. Now, I'm gonna take the last section and do the same thing. One was a little bit thicker than the other. I feel like that gave it the messy look that I was going for. And then I also had some pieces where I felt like we're gonna slide off the top. So I used bobby pins to secure that. And now you see me going through and fluffing the bun. Now keep in mind, the tighter you twist the hair, the more neater your bun is gonna look. Um, now I am going through and I took some scissors and I am just making sure that my bangs are in the right place. So I use guidelines. Um, the guidelines I use, it's only two guidelines. I use by the ears to know where I want my Chinese bangs to start. And then I use the corners of my eyes to know where I want the straightness to start. So as you can see, I, sec I sectioned off the straightness, the corners of my eyes. And then literally my fingers are in front of my eyes. So I put my fingers there and I cut right across my fingers. Now I'm showing you how to get rid of that blunt look. And basically what you're gonna do is cut your bangs upwards, 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 upwards. And that's gonna basically like make it so where it's not just like blunt straight across looking ugly, you know, just, and you know. <laughs> and now I'm showing you how to cut it um, like the side pieces without being blunt and what you're gonna do is just kind of like I don't know if you can see but like cut it in a diagonal angle like diagonal angle yeah and just keep cutting it cut a little bit at a time don't cut a lot off um, yeah a little bit at a time you know no rush but I, what I basically did is I went to sleep I woke up this next morning today is the next day um, the back of my hair is completely dry and now since I don't have the bandana in the way, I'm going to properly cut my um, bangs because I really didn't cut it as short as I wanted it to. I just wanted to kind of get a little shape so I wouldn't have much to do this morning. So right now, oh, flat iron, important part. And, and this is an important part. This is synthetic hair. Do not put this flat iron on high. The lowest setting your flat iron can go put it on one. If your flat iron can go to one, put it on one. And mine's didn't have a setting, so what I was doing was turning it on and off. I would turn it on for five seconds, use it, turn it off, and then let it cool down. Because synthetic hair shrivels up, it burns, it it's plastic. So yeah, you don't wanna burn all your hard work. So um, right now I'm just tweaking everything. Um, getting it to the way I like it. Um, yeah, that's that's all I'm doing. Just watch, enjoy, learn, and yeah. Alright friends, this is the finished look right here. Um, I really do hope that you enjoy. Um, my back is starting to come down a little bit. 
but it's only because I did not put enough Gorilla Snot. Um, I do want to say that I hope this tutorial was super easy for you. Um, the hair was super inexpensive, super quick, um, really easy. Um, you don't need to have much skills to do this. Just literally wrap the hair around, put some to the front, and then cut your Chinese bangs however you want it, your bangs however you want it. Even if you don't want Chinese bangs, you can definitely uh, swoop this to the side just like this and that is cute as well so some days i'll be wearing it in bangs and some days i'll be wearing it like this um so it's really depending on how i feel that day um i personally like the chinese bangs these are a little bit more blunt than what i am used to um and it's really not hard to get them back in place just make sure you know that the long ones stay to the side and then everything else comes to the front and then when you get them to where you want them to be you just bump them with the flat iron remember the flat iron is on low um, low low because this is synthetic hair so yeah um, I really do hope that y'all like it um, yeah that's that's this is how it turned out If you enjoyed this video, this easy back to hair, uh, this easy back to school hair tutorial, don't forget to like, thumbs up, leave a um, comment down below. I actually have a um, Cardi B inspired um, hairstyle hair tutorial coming up in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Um, think about doing um, either platinum blonde or red, so that would be really interesting. Um, again, a very simple, short. Um, inexpensive ninja bun with beautiful bangs okay all right you guys chime in next time bye